Week two. Pwned. Okay, I just recently learned how to make nori roll-ups. A little browsing around the internets will prove that these things are infinitely customizable and everyone has their own variation. So today I'm going to demonstrate a combination of flavors that I enjoy, including lots of sprouts. And incidentally, Kat just made a video about how to sprout your own sprouts at home. You might want to check that out. Now I don't often throw around words like quick and easy on this show, but you might have noticed that this episode is pretty short due to the fact that nori roll-ups are insanely quick and easy. Step 1. Grab an avocado, slice it in half, and remove the pit. Then slice it up in the skin, like so. Take a spoon and scoop the avocado into a bowl. Add some fresh lime juice, both for taste and to keep the avocado pleasantly green. Dice up two to three scallions and add those to the bowl. And just a sprinkling of sea salt. Then take a fork and mash everything together. Set the avocado aside and slice up a few sweet grape tomatoes. Check the package to make sure your nori is raw and untoasted. Organic is also a good bet. Scoop up some avocado mash and spread it along the edge of a nori sheet. Add a row of grape tomatoes and some crunchy sprouts. I'm adding a mix of lentils and mung beans that I sprouted at home and filling it out with some clover and radish I got at the store. Last, roll the thing up like so. And make another one. If you let the rolls sit for a minute, the nori will start to shrink and tighten up, and that'll make them easier to cut. You'll still need a really sharp knife, though. Also, be sure to eat the rolls right away, because they don't keep for very long. This is the soundtrack of the summer. I need to figure out what I'm saying. <laughs>